Hey learners, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Teacher Ivan, and in this video, you will be learning the fourth rule of subject verb agreement, and that is all about indefinite pronouns. Before we begin, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the bell button so you'll be notified every time I upload a new English lesson. Are you ready? Now let's begin. Indefinite pronouns refer to one or more unspecified objects, beings, or places. They are called indefinite simply because they do not indicate the exact object, being, or place to which they refer. Words such as another, anyone, anybody, nobody, nothing, someone, somebody, and something are singular and they take the singular form of the verb. Indefinite pronouns are further classified or categorized into three. We have singular indefinite pronouns, plural indefinite pronouns, and either singular or plural indefinite pronouns. Words below are examples of singular indefinite pronouns. Another, each, either, much, neither, one, other, anybody, anyone, anything, and the rest of the words are singular indefinite pronouns. Here's the catch. If the word ends with buddy, ends with one, and ends with thing, are singular indefinite pronouns. And they take the singular form of the verb. On the other hand, plural indefinite pronouns are as follows. Both, few, many, others, and several. Now, when you use these words in a sentence, make sure that you take the plural form of the verb. Because these are plural indefinite pronouns. And the third one either singular or plural. Now, some indefinite pronouns are modified by a prepositional phrase, and it may be either singular or plural depending on the number of the object of the preposition. We have all, any, more, most, none, and some. Now, Let's take a look at the examples. Singular indefinite pronouns. It is wrong to say everybody on the team are expected to be there. Now your subject here is everybody, a singular indefinite pronouns. The rule says singular indefinite pronouns take the singular form of the verb. Now, your verb here is a linking verb, are, and it does not agree with the number of your subject. I understand because everybody means more than one, but then we have to stick with the rule. So, everybody on the team is expected to be there. This is the right answer. Your verb is agrees with the number of your subject, everybody. Another example, neither of the boys clean the room. So first identify your subject. You have here neither. Oh, why it's neither? Why not boys? Take note that of the boys is an example of a prepositional phrase. You cannot find your subject in a prepositional phrase. Now, it's just so happened that boys here is close to the verb doesn't mean it's the subject or the main subject of the sentence. Your verb clean should still agree on the singular indefinite pronouns and not to the object of the preposition boys. Right? 
So just you just need to disregard this one because it does not affect SV agreement. Your verb should still agree on your subject neither, which is a singular indefinite pronoun. So cleans is the right verb. Examples under plural indefinite pronouns. First, several of the players is ready. Now your subject here is several, plural indefinite pronoun. So again, it takes the plural form of the verb. Can we check your verb? Is is the linking verb and it is singular. So it does not agree with the number of your subject, right? So you have to change it. Several of the players are ready. This is the right sentence because your verb here are agrees with the number of the subject several. Second sentence, both has agreed to sign the terms. So both here is your subject, a plural indefinite pronoun. Has agreed is the verb phrase. Has is a singular auxiliary verb and it does not agree with the number of your subject. So you change your verb. So the right sentence would be both have agreed to sign the terms. Have is a plural form of the verb and it agrees with the number of the subject both. This is very easy. I hope you learned this. And finally, we have some indefinite pronouns that are modified by a prepositional phrase, maybe either singular or plural. So examples, all of the jewelry have lost its glow. Now, in this example, you have your subject all, and it is followed by an of phrase, right? So in this case, you need to take a look at the object of the preposition. So jewelry happens to be the object of the preposition. So all you need to do here is to identify whether your object of the preposition is countable or uncountable. Jewelry is uncountable, meaning you cannot count jewelry. All right, or cannot be counted. So therefore, you have to use the singular form of the verb. Have is a plural form, so therefore you change this one. The right answer would be all of the jewelry has lost its glow. So all has or has lost agree with each other. It is mainly because of the of phrase, specifically the object of the preposition. Again, it is because it is uncountable. If you use indefinite pronouns like all, none, some, so always check the object of the preposition. If the object of the preposition is uncountable, like say for example, sugar, water, oil, these are uncountable nouns. So you need to take the singular form of the verb. The second example, all of the students attends the online class. Your subject here, all, is followed by an of phrase again. So in this case, take a look at the of phrase. Students is the object of the preposition and it is plural, right? Aside from it is plural, it is countable. So you can count students. Countable, plural, therefore you take the plural form of the verb. Attends is singular, so this is wrong. The right answer would be all of the students attend the online class. So all and your verb attend here um, agree with each other. Again, just take a look at the object of the preposition and identify whether it is singular or plural. That's it. All right, learners, that is all about our lesson for today. So before I give you the practice test, please feel free to, you know, share your scores with me. And if you have lessons that you want me to discuss, please comment down below and I would be willing and glad to read all your comments and discuss those lessons in the near future. Are you ready for the practice test? I'll give you two minutes to complete it. Good luck!
Number one, some of the oil spills spill on the ground. So, some spills is the right answer. So, this is under um, modified by a prepositional phrase. So, check the object of the preposition. It's uncountable. So, therefore, spills is the right answer. Number two, most of the cases are is controllable. So, we have most here. The same thing, check the of phrase, especially the uh, number of the object of the preposition cases, it's plural. So, therefore, you take the plural form of the verb are. Most are. Number three, neither of these books gives give a good moral lesson. So, your subject here, neither. So, the right verb is gives. Number four, one of the shops in the city closes closed temporarily so your subject here one obviously singular so it takes the singular form of the verb closes lastly number five each of the students bring brings his or her project so your subject here is a singular indefinite pronoun each so therefore your verb should be brings and that ends our lesson for today, guys. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.